Psalm 27, verse 13 says, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I'd see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, when you choose to see things from God's perspective, well, it changes how you feel. The only thing keeping your old negative feelings in place is your thinking. The Bible says, as he thinks in his heart, so is he. When you start thinking the right way, well, your life starts going the right way. But remember, you didn't become negative overnight, and you won't become positive overnight. So how do you start? Well, first, replace your negative thinking with thoughts that are praiseworthy. We're told to do that in Philippians 4 and verse 8. Deal with destructive thoughts the way that you deal with uh, uh, flies at a picnic. Shoo them away. With practice and persistence, you can do that. You have that choice. A second thing you can do is remember before you take on the future, recall God's goodness to you in the past. Shakespeare said this. He said, let never day nor night unhallowed pass, but still remember what the Lord hath done. And David said, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Psalm 27. You see, we don't have more problems than other people. We just think about them more often. So stop and reread that last passage, Psalm 27. What you think produces how you feel. If you don't believe that, try it out. And feeling angry, you know, will have angry, cause angry thoughts. Or feelings, uh, if you're sad without uh, first having sad thoughts, you'll find that they reoccur. To experience a feeling, you must first entertain the thought that produces it. That's life-changing. It's life-changing information, and it will change your life as you act on it. So today, let me encourage you to recall the past victories that God has brought you through so that you can live forward to the things that he has ahead of you. Don't be discouraged. Uh, instead, focus on the power of God for your future. I'm Ray Jones. And that's another hard truth for your day.